What's going on guys? So we are still here in Detroit, Michigan, taking an exclusive look at the brand new 2023 Super Duty. And all new is probably a better way of saying it than brand new because even though the truck may look relatively similar to its predecessor, it's pretty much all new. I don't think there's really many body panels that are shared across the two trucks. And we're gonna talk about that because I know when, when folks look at an all new truck, they want it to be all new. They wanna feel as if they're getting something that's, that's kind of revolutionary and something that's changed. So we're gonna go over a lot of really cool details and we're actually gonna interview some folks from Ford. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so with me, I have Steven. So Steven is with Ford and he works specifically on the Super Duty, right? Yes, that's right, JD, uh, Super Duty brand manager. Okay, so, you know, if, if anybody understands the brand and why this truck is the way it is and, and uniquely different from not only the outgoing model, but from any of its competition out there, you would probably understand and know that, right? Uh, we talk with our customers daily on everything that they're using their truck for, how they're using it, ways that we can improve it. We're always talking with them, trying to figure out new ways to make the all new Super Duty. Uh, the, the best truck out there for whether it's heavy duty work, heavy duty recreation. We know from our talking with our customers that the number one use case for this truck is towing and it's towing thousands of pounds. So everything that goes into designing and engineering this truck focuses on how do we create a best in class trailering experience and towing experience for our customers. How do we make their lives easier? using features and functionality that are on the truck and technology that's on there that's, that's purposeful. It's not tech for tech's sake. It's all, it's all been designed and it's on the truck uh, to make customers' lives more efficient and help them trailer with confidence. And Stephen, you make a really great point because you know, as, as long as I've been doing content on heavy duty trucks, there are always gonna be those folks who say, I don't need that. If you don't, if you don't know how to back up your truck, or if you don't know how to do this or that, you shouldn't be towing in the first place. And I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe that any piece of technology that can make you safer at performing the task of towing, hitching up, being comfortable and feeling confident going down the road is something you should welcome into a new vehicle. If you're a veteran tower and you're just overall, just you have so many years of experience doing that, even better. But the reality is, if technology can help you be safer, help you more confidently tow what you're trying to tow. And you know, no one wants to be white knuckling it when they're driving down the road. And if you build a truck that enables people to perform the task of towing and not feel stressed out when they get to where they're going or when they're trying to move, maneuver around where they're at, all the more power to you, right? You're absolutely right. And I mean, just look at the size of the trailer that's on this Super Duty right here. I mean. These trailers are massive. And what are ways that we can give customers more confidence when they're, whether they're driving on the road or they're trying to back this trailer into a very tight campsite where they've got a crowd of onlookers from their neighboring campers watching them try and maneuver this giant trailer into a tiny area. And that's why we've got features like a 360 degree trailer camera system. So one of the uh, features on the current Super Duty that is really popular amongst customers is a 360 degree camera system that gives a bird's eye view of the truck. But with the all new, how about we give them a 360 degree view of the truck and the trailer. Customers will be able to mount cameras that are on their trailer and uh, that image will feed directly into the sync system, the center stack screen, where they can get a bird's eye view of the trailer. So we're talking a trailer even as large as this one, they get a complete 360 degree view so they know exactly how they're backing that, that uh, trailer into the campsite and they can uh, be sure uh, that the onlookers don't have too much to joke about once they get hooked up. Yeah, let's step over there real quick and take a look at that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we've shifted position here to look at a camera that's been mounted on the side of this trailer, which is partially one of the cameras that's used to give you and capture that 360 degree view of the trailer. But he made a comment earlier saying, look how big and large this toy hauler is. And I believe I've actually reviewed this Alliance Valor. So. You know what, I, I gotta let him know, they make RVs a lot bigger than this. You know, this is probably six to eight feet shorter than some of the larger toy haulers I've filmed. But again, that just re-emphasizes that point of confidence. There are a lot of folks who haven't been driving semi-tractor trailers. There's a lot of folks yes. who don't have a CDL, don't have decades of experience, OTR, over the road, you know, pulling 
you know, 52 foot dry vans around and they want to get into RVing. They want to get into the lifestyle. They want to get some toys. They want a nice large luxurious toy hauler or RV or fifth wheel or travel trailer. But the challenge that you, you end up getting into is, is what is the right truck for this towing application. Now, an F450 certainly isn't always the best truck. It's a very good truck for it, but you might have a smaller trailer and you don't need an F450. You might have something small and maybe an F150 or an F250 or 350 will be just fine for you. But one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to point out with this little segment before I let Steven comment on it is the fact that any type of technology that can help you with the truck that you choose to get for the trailer and the towing application that you have that can help you feel better, more confident, less embarrassed when you're pulling into that RV park is welcomed. Because I don't care who you are, if you've been towing RVs forever, there's always that really tight, narrow RV slip that you're embarrassed to back into because you don't know if you can do it and having cameras on the side can absolutely help you. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see that technology. We're really excited. It's, it's certainly a, a feature that uh, nobody else has, this 360 degree trailer camera system. You can see the one uh, uh, example of the camera mounted on the side here. Customers can put one on the, on the back of the trailer and then one on the other side as well. That creates that entire 360 degree view. Whether it's a fifth wheel, whether you've got a conventional trailer, whether it's this big or, or one of those even larger ones that, you're, that you were mentioning, these camera systems work with all of those types of trailers. That's awesome. Now, I don't know if you have the answer to this yet, but does it stitch the image all the way together or does it just really give you the views from each side, maybe a little disconnected depending on the length of your RV? So the system stitches the images together. So think of how the, the traditional 360 degree view gives the images surrounding like a the truck, yeah. like a top-down bird's eye view. Picture that where that top-down view is the trailer and you're seeing that bird's eye view around the trailer, no matter if it's this long or even longer, like you mentioned. That's super cool. I really wanna see the process of doing that because the ease of stitching everything together, aligning your cameras, getting all that set up is gonna dictate the usage. So I really wanna check that out whenever we have an opportunity. All right, so another feature that I don't know much about because they didn't mention it in detail too much was kind of this auto hitching. I don't really know if that's the best way to describe it, but basically the ability for the truck to find the trailer. And I'm not gonna mess this up. So you tell me about that feature. So the feature is Pro Trailer Hitch Assist. So we've had Pro Trailer Backup Assist for, for a while now on Super Duty. And that's the feature where you're already hooked up to your trailer and you use the Pro Trailer knob to steer the trailer in the direction that you wanna go. With Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, this is before you're connected to your conventional trailer. So picture um, you're sitting in your truck, your trailer's back behind. Let's say you don't have anybody with you. And to avoid the, the backup, you get close to putting it, um, the ball in the right spot. You, you might have to get back in, rearrange a little bit, give it a couple tries, even for experienced um, towers. This system, you hit Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, the camera and sensors find the hitch and it will control the gas and brake and it will control the steering of the truck and position you exactly underneath the hitch so that you get out, you hook up, you're ready to go. There's no more back and forth. There's no more wiggling it to try and get it on. You get, uh, you're able to hook up to your trailer with confidence the first time and be on your way. Okay, so, and I would imagine, and again, if you don't know the answer to this, please let me know, but it would all also be dependent on you ensuring that the ball height of your, or the coupler height of your trailer is high enough to allow the truck to actually go underneath it, or is there like this stop and pause kind of motion before you get to it? When, when you're engaging the feature, it will prompt you to make sure that the heights are correct, so exactly the case that you talk about, it, everything is lined up so that you don't you don't back into the trailer or do anything like that. Um, so there are, are checks to alert you. Um, it's certainly something that's taken into consideration. And you know what's kind of crazy is, is as much as people probably watching this video are saying, oh, I don't know if I would trust a system like that, the reality is, is just like aircraft before they can take off and, and fly, you guys do a lot of checks and balances, a lot of engineering before this truck ever becomes something somebody can actually purchase at a dealership. You're, these trucks go through thousands of miles of torture testing um, in the harshest of conditions, whether it's the salt mines of Nevada or, or as, as far north in Canada as you can get in some of the coldest environments. We, we test this truck at the extremes, knowing that if it, if, if 
it functions and it's good in those conditions, it's going to be good for our customers and businesses that rely on them every day. Well, let's take a closer look at some of the other new innovative features on the 2023 Super Duty. Okay, so during my initial overview showcase of this truck, I talked about a feature that I think is going to blow a lot of folks away because it is so innovative, especially for a Super Duty. And this is not just a feature that exists on the 450. This is a feature that is optional on every Super Duty, I believe, F250, right? 250, 350, 450, all of them. Yep, so this is the feature of having a scale built in to the bed of your truck. And I want Steven to quickly kind of go over how the system works, but also what's super, super cool is where you can actually see that readout in the multiple areas that it's provided. So Steven, go ahead. We're really excited about this feature. So the onboard scales in real time measures the amount of payload that you have in the bed of the truck. Um, and the uh, driver has multiple ways that they, that they can see what the payload is. They can see it in readings that are on the tail lamps they will progress up as payload increases and then all four will be lit once it approaches max payload. You can see the uh, payload uh, weight in the center stack screen within the sync system or even on the Ford Pass app. Customers can go in, see what their payload is. So whether they're outside of the truck loading it in, if there's someone on the interior of the truck while uh, items get loaded into the bed, they know with confidence exactly how much payload is in my truck and the system knows the max payload rating of that specific truck and configuration. So it is, it is specific to that vehicle so that you can know with confidence. You don't have the, okay, maybe we didn't load it up enough. Yeah. We have to make extra trips back and forth. You can load it up um, to the max payload and be on your way and as efficiently as possible. Yeah, and, and honestly, the, the key here is also understanding weight and balance, where you might have to shift things around in your RV or on your trailer to make best use of the payload your truck has without going over the payload capacity of your trailer or your truck. Exactly, so part of the smart hitch system within onboard scales, it'll, you'll input what, what type of trailer you have and the tongue weight that you, need to, that you need to be to to safely operate your trailer. The system will know where you are at in terms of, of a percentage of your tongue weight so that you're at the uh, appropriate um, levels uh, for your trailering yep. experience. Now, something that's interesting, and this is just going to be kind of the, the humor side of this, is there's this term going around called tow police. And the tow police are that virtual group of people that are constantly criticizing that people are towing too much or that they don't have the right equipment to tow properly. Uh, by all accounts, the truck has now turned into the tow police. Right? It's, it's helping you understand what the limits of your specific truck are because that's critically important. There's so many folks who believe in the hitch and go mentality. Just hitch it up and go. And that can create very unsafe, very, very unsafe situations, especially when you're driving over areas and terrain that you may not be familiar with. Up mountain passes, down mountain passes, up and down hills and windy roads and through inclement weather, all of that can truly impact towability, especially high winds. Understanding where your weight is, you know, it may not be as important when the, when the weather's perfect, there's no wind outside, you're on flat, smooth grounds, the weather's cool, you don't have to worry about overheating, any of that stuff. But the minute you wanna take your tow vehicle over really interesting different types of conditions, especially when wind is involved, that's really where understanding how wind impacts a giant wall like this going down the road and how it impacts your trailer and your load really, really matter. So having a feature that can help you understand where you're at in terms of max payload, I think is critically important. And I really appreciate the fact that Ford has now included that as an option on the new Super Duty. Well, this is gonna wrap up this video. We have so much content out here. There's so many trucks. They have just about every configuration you can imagine, including this chassis cab upfitted configuration over here. We're gonna talk about some of that in another video. I sure hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the new technology that you can get on this truck, as well as just the Super Duty in general. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.